Hi, in this video we will show you how to configure a timer to reach sensors in uh, master things. Um, this is useful when I have I wanted to run sort of calculation based on uh, readings for, came from a different sensors. So I can configure a sensors that it have a cache related uh, to other readings and also add the reading that run equation and uh, based on these readings. So the, the remaining is that I wanted to did this calculation once or twice or X time a day. So this can be done using uh, and configuring timer. Now I look to the master of things IDE and go to the tools sensor management and the sensor management have configured new sensors. These new sensors had had like four readings. Four readings are mapped to different uh, certain readings and different sensors. So I have R1, R2, R3, and R4 in addition to the total. Every every reading of this is cache related and point to another sensor and a certain readings, DDS readings. So R1, R2, R3, and the final is the total. Total is a submission of the three, of the four readings. So now I need to, for this sensor to be in reach. So we'll get to the cache related data and also run the equation at the end. So this is accomplished by going timer, uh, add new timer, and add new timer, I will select the timer type of enrichment and click next. Uh, and now I select the convention name, which can be a timer to enrich uh, our sensors. Okay. And if you can see, for the sake of the demo, actually I will choose one minute. Usually in, in the in life, it will be like at every 24 hours, 24 hour, or 12 hours. Uh, it depends about the business needs, and this can I can write here description, whatsoever. I can use the same description as well. At the end, I need to mention the sensors. Uh, I'm working on it, which is this is a target switch uh, sensor that I need to run the image and once I have submit now the timer is created and I can check that if I go for uh, now I see this timer is configured and it's every one minute so to verify this, I will go to the IDE and actually create a new project. Let's check timers. And then the check timers, I will add a, a page. Let's say page one. And in page one, I will drag a grid. This grid, I will uh, make sure just it's, it's not enabled. Scroll it, it's not enabled. And link it to the new sensor have been added sorry okay i need to refresh because this is a new added sensors once it's refresh okay now i can see the sensor okay select all i need to show the recent and so i just need like four year readings let's say 10 readings okay submit and click save now run this project. Apparently nothing is showing because I run the enrichment every one minute. Let's wait like one minute. And um, the grid should show us the readings of the four sensors from the four sensors and the calculation have been done as well in the total reading. Okay, so maybe if I check the timer, I can see the timer have been created 53, so let's wait like uh, 20 seconds and see this should be firing. Okay, now it's fired. 
and you can see the calculation have been added this is the reading that came from the cache for the sensor so uh, I can change R1 as well a sensor of R1 let's add a reading in a sense one of the sensors now after a while I can see a lot of reading uh, a lot of enrichment have been done and as a timer is is working every one minute so this is only enrichment every single minute of it thank you for watching